In these times, wherever African elephants are found, there are also plenty of people nearby, and it can be very difficult for the two species to live in harmony. One source of great conflict is crop raiding by elephants. I was uh, nearly to give up growing here because of elephants. Nzumu is an important leader and farmer in the Sagala community, very near to the Savo National Park. His family has been farming there for generations. Elephant comes and destroy everything. Elephants are herbivores, so when they run across a local farm, they cannot resist the impulse to take advantage of the meal. And in the process, they can wreak havoc on farms, trampling and eating everything in their paths. The elephants in Kenya roam free. They're not confined to national parks, they're not behind fences. And so the elephants migrate through the landscape. And as they do migrate, they come across small farms. A single crop raiding event by a large elephant family can wipe out an entire year's crop for a local human family. So these farmers, they have to protect themselves. But the result can sometimes be fatal for both people and elephants. The trick is to find non-violent ways to protect farms from elephants. Enter the African honeybee. Yes, the Save the Elephants Conservation Group and Disney are using tiny honeybees to help both people and elephants in Kenya. Here in our project in Sagala, we have a deterrent system for stopping human-elephant conflict. We've discovered that elephants are scared of bees. It all started when conservationists from Save the Elephants and local Samburu tribesmen were walking through the bush in northern Kenya. The conservationists noticed a stand of trees that had been decimated by the elephants, all except for one. What's up with that, they wondered. The local tribesmen told the conservationists that there was a beehive in that tree and that elephants are afraid of bees. To make sure this was true, scientists from Save the Elephants and from Disney conducted bee playback experiments to confirm that elephants really do run away from bees and also see if they communicate about bees by warning other nearby elephants. Looks like there's a family over here to the right. Here's how the experiments work. First, we find elephants resting under trees. Second, we drive around the elephants and carefully place hidden microphones to record their rumble vocalizations. Third, we place a wireless speaker near them. When we're all ready, we play the bee sounds through the speaker, film their behavior, and the microphones pick up their rumble vocalizations. Well, our instincts turned out to be right. Elephants not only run away from bees and shake their heads to knock the bees away, but they also produce a special rumble that warns other elephants. When elephants hear this rumble alarm call, they run away and shake their heads just as if the bees were there. Armed with this knowledge, Save the Elephants has been constructing beehive fences. Yes, fences made of actual beehives. Here we have a demonstration beehive fence, which is around Douglas's farm in Sagala. And he has 12 beehives and 12 dummy beehives all around his two acre farm here. Um, and what it is, is one beehive is connected to the other, to the other, to the other, all the way around the boundary. If an elephant was to approach this farm, he's going to hit the wire on his chest and it's going to cause the beehives on either side of him to swing. And you see how badly the beehives are swinging. That will release the bees if there were bees in that hive. And the bees come out and really disturb the elephant, either stinging him or chasing him away. And we know from our experiments with playing bee sounds to elephants that they run away. So this is a deterrent system that's stopping elephants breaking into these farms and reducing human elephant conflict. The elephant came to my farm, but they didn't get in my farm because of this beer fence. After they saw the beer fence, they went back running away and went with another way. This is our elephant-friendly honey. It's jarred very simply and it's a symbol of all the work that's gone into the project. And it's now being jarred in our Elephants and Bees Research Centre, ready for sale around the country, back in Nairobi and in many homes and houses around Kenya. <laughs> We have this interesting partnership with Disney. They have been instrumental in joining our team. They've come on board and they've brought not only funding through the Disney Worldwide Conservation Fund, but also expertise. And it's the expertise which we're so grateful for with Dr. Joseph Soltis and his colleagues. They've helped us do a number of, of um, detailed research, not only in Disney's Animal Kingdom, but out in Kenya as well. They've provided constant support. They've provided education materials for our schools. They've provided this whole network of knowledge uh, we're so grateful for that and the support and the momentum that it's given us means that the project is expanding rapidly. So we hope this relationship will be going for many years to come.